Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg Fairy Reviews today. Let's go take a walk and see what's in the crate today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Day Tripper and this is from Indeed Brewing and they're out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. So uh, rather interesting artwork on this can guys. Uh, if y'all get a chance to visit their site, I mean I don't know if it shows the whole picture but it it's right interesting. It's got a guy with a monocle with a pipe in one hand flying one of them pedal powered, looks like a bicycle helicopter type flying machine. Rather, rather nice artwork on the can there. Matt, appreciate you sending these beers. Uh, I'm getting to them as quick as I can, trying to mix everything up and not do one after the other, but we're going to get to them. Uh, this beer is a American Pale Ale coming in at 5.40 ABV it says availability is year round. It this particular one does not have a date on the bottom of it. I don't know what the deal is on that, uh, Matt. Uh, whether they date one or two or three cans in the six pack, or or some six packs aren't dated. Uh, I've read uh, some people have dates on the bottom of their cans, so I don't know if they're, if they're maybe not just doing every one in in the, in the six pack. I don't know, guys. So this one does not have a date on about. Pretty sure uh, it's fairly fresh. I don't know, Matt, if you've got uh, the rest of these and you can post a date on this where one of the other cans has a date on it. This, uh, the notes on this one says, Regionally grown American pale malt is blended with rich European malt to produce a lighter bodied beer, bright in color, with a taut white head. And then there are the hops. Four pounds per barrel to be exact. Willamette, Cascade, CTZ, and Summits give this brew a citrus punch and spicy character. 45 IBUs on this one, guys. So, the food pairings for this one. The cuisine is Pan-Asian. The cheeses are earthy, Camembert, Fontina, your nutty cheeses, Asiago, Colby, Parmesan. Uh, uh, the uh, meat for this is, uh, it says poultry, but... The pale ales are a lot like the IPAs, and not quite as intense, but I mean this, from what I've read here, with four different hops, it's about to be a really hot forward one like uh, Sierra Nevada's pale is kind of hot forward too, so uh, this may be a hot forward one, and you wouldn't want to cellar it with a 5.40 if it's, and on top of that, uh, being a hot forward pale. So, some of the pails are more hoppier than some people's IPAs, so, I mean, it's all uh, what they're trying to achieve with their beer, and if they're hop heads, they might like their pails a little hoppier. I do, so. With that being said, the glassware is a pint back of Stein, the mug, the tumbler, uh, the mug, uh, about anything you want to pour it in, and like I said, it's not recommended for extended cellaring, so let's not sell this one any longer. Get it in the glass. And I don't think there's any other dating on the side of the can. It's got a code beside the barcode. But uh, normally they're dated on the very bottoms so and this one does not have it. So I'll spin this around so you can uh, see that guy maybe there on that flying machine. Uh, over to the light. It is uh, fairly clear. I mean, it might have a slight chill haze on it, but it is not cloudy. I don't see a, a lot of floaties or chunks floating around in it, so I would assume this is a filtered beer. Uh, with that aggressive pour, we got a nice finger of head. Very tangerine in color. I like tangerine. Looks very nice. Let's get a nose on it. It is definitely hot forward. It is very citrusy. Piney. It smells like an IPA to me. I mean, it really, really does. 
There's some grapefruit in there. There's some sweet. And this is like apples or pears. It smells delicious. I'm drooling on myself. Mm. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Matt. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. This would be in the fridge every day if I could get this here. But it's probably one of the best pale elves I've had because it's so hot forward and I'm a hop head. The hops are doing great. They're already 10 foot tall out there, guys. I'm going to do a couple of intros out there the next chance. I can probably over the weekend. i got a beer festival i got to pour for this weekend. If it's not raining Sunday, I'll, I'll do some intros out there and give you all some, uh, some video with the hop plants in it. So. Wow, this is delicious. Very easy drinking, no alcohol whatsoever. I could drink several of these in a row. Wow. It tastes like it's got a little more than 45 IBUs of it. It's got a nice bitterness on the back end that makes you want to take another drink. And then one makes you want to take another drink. That's nice. Might be a little too bitter for some people, or pale. But even it tastes like it's like 50 or 55, maybe even 60 I'll be used to me. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I only got one of these two. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're going to let it warm up. Let the other half taste a little bit of it. Not too much. Just enough to wet her whistle. And I'll be back with you the final chug on this one, guys. Stick around. Hey, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. This beer is awesome. The other half thought it was awesome too. Like I said, uh, yeah, this is available here. You'd see a lot, a lot of it in the refrigerator. It's very delicious. Probably one of the the most pleasant hoppy, hot, or should I say, hop forward pails that I've had. I mean, I think it's a little hoppier than the Sierra Nevada's pails. So damn tasty. Final chug. It's awesome. Guys, this is a 10 beer, but it's not going to get the 10 tonight or today, whenever you're watching this, because it doesn't have the date on the bottom of the can. It needs to have the date on the can to get to 10, so, wow. Especially something that's hot forward. It needs to have the date on it. You wouldn't want to have this six months, eight months down the road. It's going to lose a lot of that, so. It's delicious. It's a 10 beer if it had the date, so it gets to 9 today. Beer Advocate comes up with a 90, which is in their exceptional range. And Rate Beer says it's 98 overall and 99 in the style. Very impressive numbers. Very impressive beer. Thanks again, Matt, for sending this to me. It was delicious. Everything that I want in a pale ale and then some. So, guys, if you've had this one out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, from ND Brewing, Day Tripper. Very delicious pale ale but it is hop forward so if you're not a hop head it might not blow your hair back as much as it did mine but I was impressed so thanks again Matt guys rate comment subscribe if you've had this one Put some comments back let me know what you think you like it didn't like it I loved it so the like button let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow see everybody then